Alright, what's good guys? So, if you've been paying attention the past couple you know, months, I haven't released anything. I uh, hope you guys put two and two together. My laptop broke. I got a new one. Got busy over semester, so I took some time off. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't you know, say anything to anyone. I try to reply to comments as much as I can when I saw them. Uh, you know, I would like to say I'm back, but you know, I have some technology stuff going or like right now when I like finish looking at this video it's gonna be a blank screen but when I put it on YouTube it'll work weird shit so it's gonna be really weird for me to figure out what the hell uh, so basically laptop broke got a new one lost the TW added to error save uh, I'll put in the comments what was gonna happen and I could answer questions on what character Basically, up till it was gonna be up till WrestleMania um, week seventeen, where it was gonna be Punk team versus The Rock, but no heel turn for either of them. Then you know, Triple H versus Y two J over Steph, Bandito versus Undertaker, and there's a badass Undertaker which is gonna return WrestleMania sixteen. I'll get back to WrestleMania sixteen, and then you know we'll go backward, we'll go forwards and backwards. Uh, what else? Angle versus Benoit. And I think those were like the big four from what I remember. And then Kane and Xbox. No, Kane versus Xbox because Xbox was going to turn on Kane. But Kane wrote Lesnar. Uh, and Angle wrote Benoit. So those were going to be, you know, the marquee matches for the next couple months. I remember, you know, I haven't thought about this stuff in five months. And then WrestleMania 16, we're going to have Triple H versus. Foley was going to stay retired, like, the Triple H McFoley feud was going to happen like it did in real life. Very similar. Austin versus McMahon. Uh, I would like to see Austin winning, picking Vince's successor. Now it led to a fun angle for coming months with Vince interviewing possible candidates to replace Mr. McMahon. You know, William Regal, Bill Watts, JR, Jared, like, all, Paul Heyman. All these other guys, like, you know, just a little fun thing going on for a couple weeks. Shane McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, Austin stuttering him. And then finally he picks McFoley. And McFoley, you know, sign, his first thing is GM, signs the Radicals. We beat up Austin. Eddie Guerrero makes a save. It's Eddie and Austin versus the Radicals. Eddie turns on Austin. And so Eddie gets a pr pretty big heel push. Austin comes back, beats the Radicals, beats Eddie up, so forth. We also had uh, Undertaker return. Undertaker returns, becomes a Nitro Badass, defeats Money Bill Money in 15 minutes. Total flop. It sucked. Raven was not performing the microphone the way I wanted. His matches sucked. I, that was the first thing I noticed. I was following that. Terrible. Might have gave him hardcore title. Might have created for him. Don't really remember. Three way tag match happened in real life. Uh, Bandito versus Jericho, where I think. turning on Mr. Perfect or not this match but the storyline ends up Candido turning on Perfect Jericho gets the big baby face win he is on faces Eddie at SummerSlam 2000 what else Eddie versus Kurt for IC title Kurt wins or retains and then Eddie goes with it title and then SSO we had uh, The Rock versus uh, PC PC winning Getting that title reign that I think a lot of people are waiting for me to pull the trigger on. Well, it takes over from Kurt Angle, where Kurt wasn't really where I wanted him to be, wasn't putting the ratings and angles that numbers I wanted to see. Uh, we had Austin out, so we had Eddie versus Jericho. Uh, I don't where Triple H was. I don't remember where Kurt was. Uh, TLC won. But, uh, you know, those are the forthcoming things. I think it was Triple H and Batista versus X Pac and Kane. Yeah, that was it. And then X Pac doesn't turn here yet. They get frustrated over losing. This, you know, it continues with that. I forget what Kurt was. Kurt was going to be heel throughout the storyline. The love triangle with Triple H and Kurt didn't happen. Throwing a lot of information out here, but you know, trying to get through it. Basically, and then these were my plans. Seventeen. The night after, the very night after, I was gonna start the invasion. Eagle Scott Hall. 
come starting out. Now, this leads to the question, what do I do now? How do I uh, play TEW now? What series do I do? I think I'm going to do Invasion Angle with the 2001 mod that's on EW Battleground. You can put the link if you guys want it. Where it's real life, May 2001. Please look up Backlash 2001 if you want to be updated on stories. But Austin Triple H, two-man power trip, tag champs, IC, world champ, running Raw and SmackDown. Uh, then we'll just beat Angle. Uh, ultimate submission match. Which I thought was the month after. But either way. Kane and Undertaker just lost to uh, Two Man Power Trip. Basically. And then the Invasion Angle hasn't started until I think May is when it starts. So, and then that mod. The NWO and Ric Flair. Not available for until Survivor Series. Sting is not available till February. Uh, Steiner is not available till the fall. And those are... And Goldberg... Is uh, like two years contractually gone. Mysterio is like eight months gone. And then uh, what else? There's one more. Bret Hart is retired. So those are all the guys that aren't available right away. So that leads the question. What do I do with Invasion Angle? Do I continue it? Or do I like push it back one more month? Do I push it back till then? Or do I start it now and then have those key components come in later down the line? Except Goldberg possibly staying. Everyone else has a fair chance of being in it to be honest with you. And then how do I tell those stories? So, I don't know if the video is going to, like, the screen's going to show up on this. I hope it does. Because you guys get to see here what I uh, had planned. Hopefully. So, you know, that's just the channel update. Laptop broke, lost the save again. Feels like happens every now and again. And instead of uh, going to 2000, where there's a mod for TW2013, where it's... Uh, January 2000 and just kind of edit it where it was in real life and then go through and do all this stuff I might just start at May 2001 you know one where it's um, you know Triple H Stone Cold versus Undertaker and Kane finish up that feud Angle and Ben Wall you know I uh, I already did some pre pre you know sh just already went through and did a little bit and yeah took a uh, screenshot But I don't know, I might go edit it back and I might just do it the way I wanted to do. Do the invasion angle I wanted to do. So I'd really love to hear what your guys' uh, perspective on what series is next. And is it the invasion angle where I do just the invasion angle? Or do I continue through the ruthless, ruthless aggression era, Brock Lesnar era? Or I saw there's a 2005 mod that I think people would like, but I don't really know what plans I'd have for that because, you know, Cena's already a star. Brock's gone. Already a star. Batista is already a star. We got all these star guys that are stars already. But I think I don't know if you guys want to see that. A modern day save, but I think a modern day WWE save is there's three hours of Raw, two hours of SmackDown. I'd have to cut that back or I'd get tired of doing this series after a week. Or uh I don't know. There has to be now, older mods, maybe I can do an ROH save. Maybe I can do a new... J I'm not doing New Japan save, because with New Japan, you book stories through matches, and not matches through stories. You know what I mean? That makes sense. I'm just thinking out loud here. I could do... I told you the idea of doing Don Callis in TNA, where he kind of adds a New Japan spin to TNA, where there's heavyweight division, light heavyweight division, and an X division, where the X division is like, you know... Just the work, like, it's, like, not, like, what I think the open weight, sh never open weight should be. It's not the, just the baddest guys you could have, like, you know, I'm trying to think of, like, a rock star spud who I know is not TNA versus an Abyss title match. Like, I think there's that. Or you could have, like, two guys, world-class athletes, like, yeah. You know, ah, uh, damn, I haven't watched TNA in forever, so it's hard. You can have, like, a James Storm versus uh, a light heavyweight or light heavyweight guy. It's an open weight. It has its own thing to it. It still would be respectful to Smojo, AJ Styles. Like, that's what, what I think the X Division would be. It'd be the best workers, the workers that I could see together. Like, in TNA, current TNA save, I looked at it. I think uh, Sammy Callahan would fit in there because he's not really quite a heavyweight. But 
I don't see him working well at the juniors. And then, uh, uh, who else? Who's a heavyweight that I put in there? So same Cal Callahan would be like one of the guys I would see in there. Jimmy Jacobs is another one who, yeah, not the gimmick wrestlers, but the wrestlers who aren't. I don't know. It's the way I think about it. It'd be hard to do. Like a Ricochet would be in the light heavyweight, and then a Bobby Lash would be heavyweight. Yeah, and then I'd sign a couple young lines. And, and then I'd sign a couple older guys like Rob Van Dam. And, you know, they'd be like the Juice and Thunder Laggers. I think that's such an interesting thing to do. I think it would be cool to create stars from the scratch. Like Brian Pillman Jr. would be interesting as a first young line. Kind of full of that. But I really want to do the Invasion, I think. But with kind of realistically, where Bret Hart's not available, Goldberg's not available. And then the other guys aren't available till later. So I'd love to hear what you guys' opinion are, and if uh, you know any screen captures, ways I can screen capture for free or cheap, or if you have any recommendations of where I should look at, please let me know, because I, like I said, when I go uh, to play this, when I finish the screen, there's my background, if you see it, it's pretty cool. When I press stop and press play, it's not letting me, it's just a black screen, but the audio is fine. So I'd love to hear what you guys' opinion is on screen capture, if there's any video editing software where I can, you know, learn how to use, edit videos to make these better, because I think this is a fun hobby, I recommend all of you do it, and if you do, please put your channel in the uh, comments below, I'd love to see what you guys play, and different, I love seeing different booking styles, and I'm trying to keep the video quick, so there's a lot of information, maybe you'll listen to it twice if you have to, thank you guys so much for watching, I uh, hope you guys comment with what you want to see, and if there's any uh, TW series that not out there, but you would love to see. And uh, if I get this channel up and running again, I'd love to add movies to it and some stuff like that, like Top 10. Not like you watch Mojo, because, yeah, that's too clickbaity after a while. It's kind of not the same, but like just my opinion and that stuff. I've watched 40 new movies from 2017, and I've been like ranking them just for fun, just to see and see what's watchable, what's rewatchable and all that. I'd love to hear if you guys have any opinion on me talking about movies more, people to watch it. And I'm going to try to keep all of my videos under 15 minutes. So, once again, just to let you know, let me know what you would like to see from you know, me. If you have any, want to hear any of my movie opinions, which I might just do for fun. If what I and stories you'd like to see, you know, if you want to see Invasion with, that is different, like Triple H isn't going to turn on WWF. Where, you know, it's kind of realistic, realistic of what happened, but a different perspective. Uh, if you want to see a TNA save, an ROH save, a modern B save, kind of, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know, 205 Live, it's be too much work. And then uh, any old school saves, I'd love to hear any opinion on. Because, you know, maybe someone says something, I'm like, wow, actually I can do this, this, and this. Or, you know, if you want to see uh, the 2005 save, like I was saying, I would just love to hear any opinion of what you guys want to see. Because I think I'm a very different TEW player than everyone else. My videos are typically shorter. I think 6 to 15 minutes is about the range. 6 to 13, actually. For everyone that has a half hour to an hour. Which, you know, everyone's busy. Everyone has their own lives. You don't only listen to me talk for longer right now if you start listening. So... I'm the end right there. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to talk to you soon.